I'm so excited about this. I'm scared, nervous, and excited. Can you guys hear me? Give it a minute. They'll show up. All right, Bubba, you can lay right here. It's a good spot for big boys. So, I wish I had the item. All right. I wish I had the item from my cover photo here, but it was done at Vamps because she did it and I don't have it. But what I do have is a this proof of concept. Can you see it? Can you see it? It looks like it would be not touchable bubbles. However, as Vamp just showed, it's fully touchable. And I'm pumped about it and I can't wait to show you guys how it was done right now. So I guess I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just try to pull some of this off of here. Just see if I can. Because my idea was, if I wanted to do a tumbler. Hi, TG. Hi, JJ. Hi, Christy. Let's just pretend this was an ocean tumbler. Right? Right. Let me get an exacto blade. JK, I have scissors. You want to get down? Welcome to my messy kitchen. Um, so... I'm going to, I just went ahead, this is just a regular canvas that has a plastic on it, and I put the bubbles on it because I was like, wonder if I could peel it off and then use it. Turns out, the answer is, heck yeah, you can. Now, it's very thin and very delicate. Hi, Evelyn. But I put in some areas a UV, I put UV resin right here. So I'm going to see if that makes a difference. Now this I did yesterday morning-ish. Look how easily that peels off. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I like the front side or the back side better. Well, I guess if I wanted the texture, I would have to do front side, Ooh. but back side looks super fun. That's cool. So I'm gonna cut this off. So this is where the Judy. the big bubbles were. This area, which still, I mean, it plays. But I think what I and most people would probably really look for is this look. So I'm just gonna just gonna cut it out. So essentially what I'm going to do here is show you what you can do with this stuff and then show you how to make it. Okay? Okay. So maybe I would have left that on, but ultimately you can put it down and then... Uh, may I make a suggestion? Go for it. I mean, once you start playing with this, as I have, you can sort of melt the edges with sure. heat a little to kind of maybe get a little flow. And also, it's not such that you can't just right. work like it, blend it and blend it out into your piece. Just with a little pressure. And uh, Vamp says you can add a little bit of heat and this is easier to do. So anyways. Hi, Joala. This is the piece we did. And you can see a little bit from the side that it's textured. Great. Uh, kind of hard to tell, but I think they can see. Well, if we put it down. New style. I like it. I like it. Is she underwater? <laughs> <laughs> Because I didn't know with her hair okay. like that. Oh. So this is a way to make textured waves. So I would obviously edge this up. Or maybe not. Maybe it looks good just 
being there, you know? I like that right there. So let's see what it looks like. I like the foamy on the... The foamy. The foamy! The foam foam? I was calling it mermaid bubble bath earlier. So, you could put more Mod Podge down. Oh, I was like, what is that dark blue spot? But that's just because I have a dirty tumbler. But how rad is that? Now you can do ocean waves with this foam look. Because I don't know if you guys do tumblers. <laughs> Teresa said <laughs> it's like a toupee for ocean art. <laughs> <gasps> it's a wave toupee. <laughs> So I've been working with a few different formulas. Vamp and I have been just testing it and playing and trying to figure life out with this bubble formula because I didn't invent this. There's a few people that um, I was inspired by their formula to try to make one. And this is where we're at. So with this, I used Glossy Mod Podge. Looks like this, sorry it's gross. Um, Dawn dish soap, some white pigment, and a little bit of water. And then I put it in this jar. It's actually already just still bubbly. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Calm um. down, bubbles. Just getting everywhere. So I guess you could probably just shake it like that and create some bubbles. But also, you can use a straw and blow some bubbles. I'm just gonna take these ones out. And I'm just laying them on this plastic so that I can peel them up. Ooh, these ones are already dry. But I feel like underneath would still probably be a little bit goopy. So I'm just gonna leave them till tomorrow. But I'm gonna take a straw And ultimately, you probably want to just pop these so you're not wasting any of this mixture. But if you wanted to get crazy, you could do this. I'm not a camera person. Sorry. And so that gives you... Ugh. That's so cute with our sticker and these bumbles. Aww. I'm gonna have to take a new product image. So there we have, these aren't gonna stay, okay? They're just not. I haven't figured out how to make that happen, but if you breathe too hard, they're gonna move. They start like sinking into each other. Yeah, they're gonna pop. But you can scoop out these smaller ones and this is gonna be your foam look. This is what that is going to be. So I just use a spoon and whatever else you have hanging out. See, look, they're already popping just because I'm living around them. And it does look a little bit ocean foamy, like slight bluishy aqua. And that's because of the color of the dish soap. So it actually looks like sea foam. Yeah, but like on this one, in a couple areas, I just painted it white, like I dry brushed some white paint on, and that worked really well. So you just wait a while, and ultimately the dish soap with a little bit of water is what creates the bubbles, and the Mod Podge being in it makes the bubbles leave a skeleton essentially is what it is and then the little bit of white paint just offsets the blue of the dish soap i suppose you could probably find a different color dish soap but there's something with the dawn i believe though yeah like, that's why dawn works so well with everything i gotcha like i think maybe there's actually something with the dawn dish soap So, now all these are going away. I suppose I could, like, 
Christy says, a bubble sheet? Amazing. Love this. Scoop up this excess so it's like waste not, want not. Just be careful not to pick up dried Mod Podge because I don't know what that would do. Evelyn asks if we've tried to add colors yet. Well, I've added white. white. And I suppose, let me see if, I'll do that test real quick so you don't have to. What do we got? What do we got? Magneta sounds good. Yeah. So I haven't tested with other colors or how this is going to affect the mix that I have in here. Whoa, didn't take a lot. And you could always dry brush it like you did with the white. You could dry brush it. So let's create, well, actually, I could just pick up some of now these. Now I want raspberry sorbet. Well, here you go. <laughs> So, I'm just putting a dry finger into those large bubbles to pop them because I don't need them. I'm just going to waste product if I try to use them because it's just not going to work. Jesus, this looks delicious. So there you go. Mmm. Like a smoothie. And so after... JJ says, hashtag Toxic Beach. Who it is Toxic Beach, isn't that? You could probably mix different depths of... Like, color into this. Like, some blue... Ooh, I could do a rainbow foam beach. Okay, that's happening. Oh. <laughs> that's happening. Uh -huh. So anyways. Evelyn said Bondi foam. This is all that it is to it. But if you don't have access to some of this stuff or don't want to go out and get the different things, I have decided. Help you? Are you good, boy cap? Yeah. Stay over here. I've decided to just jar this mix for you. In white. <laughs> in white. Seafoam. It is not going to be pink. It'll be in seafoam color, this original color, this color. And so you can make your own. So I'm going to be sending out this size jar with a third, a little over a third a product in it so that you can just open the jar, put a straw in it, I'll send a straw with it, and get your foam on. Just put a pinch of water, this much water. Like, not a lot. And then you can make your own foamy bubbles. Um, I already have it available on the website. If you want to get some of this for yourself, or to someone that does a number of other things, maybe dioramas, maybe skulls like Vamp does, maybe tumblers. And so once this starts to dry out, it'll leave this exact look that is right here and right here. I love this idea. I love this concept. I did not come up with it, but I have tweaked the formula a little bit so that um, it works better for what I'm doing. If I were doing a tumbler, I would mount it with... There's a Mod Podge that you can actually put in the dishwasher. And so I would mount it with that and then put a coat of resin over it after dusting more white. And can you put UV resin on it? Or... So I did mention earlier that part of this has UV resin to make it a little bit more durable. Like this part here has the UV resin and yeah. a little bit of white paint dusted on, dusted, dry brushed on. You can see it's kind of shinier than 
other parts because UV resin is high gloss. And so, yeah, I think boy cat. Evelyn said a mermaid tail with foam. I like the idea of a mermaid tail with foam. Joella said, be sure and don't suck it back in the straw. You won't like it. You will not. Boy cat's doing his darndest to get into this cabinet. But it's not for you. So, does anyone have any questions about this process? Or, I wish I could tell you the exact measurements, but the amount that you're trying to make is going to determine the percentages. And so, what I'm putting in this jar is the measurements that I've come up with for, that for amount. this amount. So, I don't know. Just for people to sample, maybe, or try out the technique of right. it. Right. If you don't want to worry about measuring stuff, this works for you. And if you just want to try it before investing in a big bottle of Mod Podge and a big bottle of everything else, Christy this asks, works. how long does it take to set up? Mm. I would say give it a good 24 hours, but it sets up within a few hours. I would give it 24 hours before you try to pull it off, yeah. whatever backing, because just because, like right here, just because this top part's dry and I can touch it and it doesn't leave anything, doesn't mean it's dry all the way to the back. So if I probably try to peel it, it would probably break because it's probably gummy on the back side. Yeah. So I would let it set because ultimately this is on plastic and plastic is not porous. There's no air breathing through the back of it. So you really want to let all the air evaporate nope all the water evaporate out before you try to remove it so that it doesn't rip on you jj said that toupee blends better than most hair pieces do fair point fair point <laughs> i i feel like an actual chef you know how they do the foams and the froths and like the high-end stuff so you're just scooping it out yeah and so if i were gonna, now that i'm playing with it like and have a direction, an idea, I would probably like put it out, let it set for just a little bit and then kind of taper off the edges so that when it does come down and we peel it off, it has a little bit of oh, this look. It has this look on the edge instead of blunt cut like this. Actually, we could probably do it this way as well. Just cut it along your shoreline mm -hmm. and then let this back end blend out because mm -hmm. yeah and what do you have going on Friday night at 6 p.m. so Friday night at 6 p.m. we're gonna have a fire oh. fall sale with no fire but some fire it's gonna be a lot of fire it is a fall sale and I want to cheapen my sale but also I need some room so we're selling a lot of this stuff for Super low prices, and we're going to have doorbusters because I know you guys love the doorbusters. Um, Vamps already started putting some together. To my dismay, she's putting some very popular colors in. And she's also going to have work in this fall sale. And then if you're around on the 18th in Dallas, in Dallas, we're having an art show in Deep Ellum, which is what we've been prepping for for hot minute mm -hmm. so yeah what do you guys think do you have any questions concerns ideas i'm loving this teresa said she'll be listening while driving to see friends friends <laughs> i know some of those friends Evelyn said, I'll say woohoo. Yes, I really need you guys to be here and maybe to share that we're doing it so that we can generate some movement in these artworks. So, um, this is how it works. And it works super awesome. And if you want to buy it pre-made, you can do it from my shop. Comes with this size jar and a straw. 
And what is it called on the website for them to find? Seafoam Blend. Seafoam Blend. You can find it at artisttilldeath.com. Mm -hmm. Artisttilldeath.com. I just used your wall. She's writing. <laughs> oh. See. Um, Christine blend. with a case just ordered a case of tumblers. May try this. Evelyn says Christmas is coming. Need artwork. Yes, yes, and yes. Carrie at Seaside Creations, Australia says good day, Evie and y'all. Slept in. Oh, it's 6 a.m. there. So weird you're in the future. Future people. Oh, look at that shadow. That's cool. <laughs> totally did it on purpose. Thank you, JJ. Some Did y'all hear that? I'm sure you couldn't. I mean, the mic was right under it. So you want to get those out of the way, though. Steve said the wheels are turning trying to think of applications. So many, so many opportunities, so much room for activities. So maybe that's the best way to do it. Have another one to the side so you can get them out of the way, the big bubbles. And get to these size guys. Yeah, Tracy said she could hear the bubbles blowing. And then when you got all these guys out, you can pour these ones back in, in theory. Because waste not, want not. Oh, I should have let it pour longer. <laughs> Listen, there's no waste. Without. Yay, bubble to pay. Love it. Obviously, you would want to make a string of bubbles that fits whatever it is that you're working on. So if I were to try to do a bubble situation for this piece specifically, what I would do is... Blow out all the bigger bubbles and then create a flow that's kind of like how my ocean looks. <gasps> Ooh, what you could do is, okay, hear me out. Put saran wrap over your piece. I see. Put, put your saran wrap here. Yep. Put the bubbles over it. Yep. Let it... Follow your up. trail. Right. Then you could peel it off and it would be an exact. Exactly. Good thinking, good thinking. So that way it would be an exact replica for the most part. And then, so you have your shoreline that matches up because you did it with. Christine said, brilliant. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and then do that little fade and then out. Then you just blend this back out just a little bit. Here you said brilliant idea. And then once it's all dried up, the next day, let's say, peel it off, put some, you could even use Mod Podge or just a UV skim resin. coat of resin, like just a mm -hmm. thin coat. Plop it down. And now you have it on there. And you can even add just like a second wave to that as well, or just clear coat it. She said, you ladies are pumped with ideas. Oh, we've been doing all sorts of weird chess with it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. But now the color idea is cool. You could do a whole rainbow in different color bubbles mm -hmm. as your phone. That would be wicked. 
Now I'm going to be attempting to do that. I really want raspberry sorbet. I'm fresh out, but you can try a bite of my sorbet boobles. I would like to not eat those. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't either. Okay. So as you can see, this little jar makes a fair amount of bubbles. All of this came out of here. You can get it on my website, artistildeath.com. Seafoam blend. So yeah, anybody have any questions? I see no questions coming in. Sweet. Well, you guys, hope you've enjoyed this. We did a test so you don't have to. If you want to try out the product without investing in full size everythings and measuring and whatever, you can get my this size jar on my website, artistildeath.com. It's called Seafoam Blend. It is not pink. It's not pink. It's seafoam <laughs> color. Yeah. Christy asked, how are you applying it to your piece? So you could, what I'm probably going to do is do a skim coat of resin, which is just a very thin, clear resin, and then put it down and let the resin just bond the foam. Just like a little skim coat. Like you could maybe even thin. use white coat. Maybe. Oh, yellows. Oh, yellows. Yeah. Um, but they're coming out with a new version of quick coat that won't yellow. So until then. Or you could always, if you know you're going to be doing a piece, have some of these already ready. And when you do your piece, set them right into the, like, wet resin. You could. If you have some kind of already ready. So essentially then you could do out a shoreline of bubbles that's blended back like this. Put it down. Trace it. I wouldn't even trace it. I would just put it down. An ocean off the back of it. That would be cool. Just put a little bit of white resin just here. And then blend out from there. And then blend backward. Lots of different ideas, mm -hmm. ways to use this. Fun stuff. So much room for possibilities. I'm doing quite a few more of my ocean skulls and geodes. So, I hope you guys give it a shot. If you do, uh, tag us at hashtag ATD or put it in our group, ATD's Poor People, so that we can see what you're up to. On Facebook. If you have any questions, you can also post it in our group, ATD's Poor People, on Facebook. Follow us at Everywhere at Artist Till Death. Um, if you haven't joined our newsletter on our website, do that so you know when we always have new products come in or if we host a sale, which I'm going to have a sale coming up because Prime Days is coming around twice a year now. So yeah, um, make sure you're signed up for emails. I don't send out just a whole bunch of emails for just because it's always a sale or restock. Restock or sale. It's the only time I'm, I reach out to you. And we have lots of orders coming in in the next few weeks. We do have a bunch of products coming in the next week, actually. So, And the art coat that we have in is going fast, so grab it while you can. We do have art coat in. And I just got a restock of Abalone and Milky Way. Shooting, Shooting Star. Star. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Leave me a comment down below of anything you have seen that you want me to test out. And... Yeah. Have an awesome day. We'll see you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central. Till then, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And Artist Till Death does the test. We do the test. So you don't have to. Be, I did a whole skater turn and he didn't even be impressed. He's impressed on the inside. He's up there, everybody. That's where you just saw him jump to. Ugh, I almost just died. He's up there. He's up there. They just saw him jump, I think, from the cabinet.
that's what he do. Anyways, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central. Till then, bye. 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 bye.